She is a local young lady who's gone off to Hollywood, who's now back to business, and uh, I got to have a chance to uh, see some of her work, and it's Bahara. Good morning, Bahara. How Hi, are Brad. You? How are you? So, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Pronounce you? your last name, because I'm not going to try. I'm, t I'm lucky I got Bahara right. Yeah. So, pronounce the last name. Golistani. Golistani. Yeah. Golistani. Okay. Let's just, all right, I'm, I'm excited because you have been one of uh, the 12 influential people in 2019 around the world because of your story, which is so amazing. And so let's take people back to where you're originally from and how you got to Arizona very quick. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, so I grew up here. I'm from Afghanistan originally. I was born in Kabul, Afghanistan, um, 1989, very crazy year and in the middle of war and all the chaos that was going on. And uh, my parents, when I was four years old, we had to flee and go to Moscow yeah. and kind of just fight for our lives. And we ended up in Russia. So I was raised in Kiev. I lived in Kiev for three years and lived in Moscow. I was kind of a gypsy my whole life, yeah. moved around, uh, had to speak different languages, learn new cultures. And then when I was almost 12, I was very fortunate enough to moved to the United States and uh, the UN was a big part of that for me, for my journey. Uh, so that article that came out was uh, very exhilarating because due to the fact that because of a foundation like UN, yeah. I was a refugee my whole entire life. And when I moved here, um, it was due to them helping my family escape such uh, terrible circumstances and I ended up here in Arizona. Wow, yeah. been, and, and one thing is so amazing, you are a uh, child of entertainment because mm -hmm. your parents, and I know that was kind of hard, especially yeah. you know having to flee from one country to another mm -hmm. and working, and so that was one way you were brought up of just knowing the entertainment, which took away some of the pain that people were having, right? Absolutely, so in Afghanistan, women are not allowed, um, in the 70s our country was very progressive, but most people don't really know that. Um, in our country, women are not allowed to be, uh, you know, musicians or singers or anything in entertainment or have a voice uh, for the most part. Uh, my mother was an actress and she did several films before I was born. My dad's a very well-known musician and so at the time when everything was escalating in our country, um, you know, we were very much in danger. Um, but my parents have always inspired me to follow my heart and arts have always been something that's very dear to me and I'm just fortunate um, to be able to pursue that and have a family that's so supporting yeah. of that because that's usually not you know a given yeah. in most afghan muslim households for a girl a woman to be an actress a model or pursue any career yeah. that's in that field so all right let's get to the part that is definitely that took me by surprise as i was watching the clip and that is you're now on this is us yes. fourth season this is amazing but the character you play is pretty much you know, mm -hmm. I mean, this is amazing. And also I like that they didn't go find an American, you know, person, uh, you know, to play this part. They actually went and found someone from the country yes. who knows what's going on. So tell them a little about your, your character. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have a tremendous amount of respect for the casting department and this is us, the whole entire cast and crew and everybody that was involved. Uh, they wanted to be very authentic. We had a translator on set um, who spoke Pashto. I speak Pashto myself. It's uh, the oldest language in Afghanistan. And um, my character is Dr. Osman. She's a female doctor in the middle of combat yeah. and she is an ally for the US military Cassidy played by Jer Jennifer Morrison so beautifully and basically what happens is that I'm fighting for my life and I give her information that could potentially risk my life my child's life the whole entire village and what we see on the first episode that that does happen but I do survive and um, there's a lot of stories like that, real stories, um, and I think the writers had some type of um, influence probably from those stories, yeah. um, and I was just, it was an honor, awesome. definitely. That's good, and you're not done. This is really cool, because again, we have our very own uh, Arizona who's becoming a bigger, bigger star, because you got Netflix going on. Yes. You have another movie coming out with yes. some great things. Tell us really quick about those. Yeah, so um, Six Underground, I worked on Six Underground, Michael yeah. Bay, uh, it's on Netflix, so if you haven't seen it, check it out, it's a great film. Um, I also just have recently written and produced my own project, and that's in the works. Uh, this is the first time that I've actually, I've been writing this script while I was in drama school when I first moved to LA. I got inspired, I started writing, and it took me years, and it's still in progress, but um, this is gonna be the first project that I direct and produce, wow. and it's actually about Afghanistan. Wow. So I'm really, really excited. That's great. Yeah. So, all right, say hello to everyone, because I know family's watching. Hi. Say hello. There you go, she's on TV. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. 
clear. This is great. And again, you're you're available for people to come talk to, especially women of your culture. Absolutely. And you want to talk to them because you want them to start having voices of knowing what's going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. I'm yeah. very, very involved on Instagram, like social media, for I have women reaching out to me from con different countries and different cities in America, and it inspires me. They inspire me, and I hope that uh, what I do, maybe a part of it inspires them to have a voice and go after their dreams and just not let it, anything stop them. I love it. Tell me your Instagram so they know. Um, Bahara Golistani. There you go. Thank you, Bahara. Thank you so much.